we've got two two young players in to uh, complement the squad. We've got a defender in Will Packwood from Birmingham City, who's an uh, American boy. He's very well highly thought of at, uh, at Birmingham, so much so that they don't want to get him cut tied because Lee Clark might need him. I spoke at length to Lee yesterday and uh, we finally concluded that agreement, if you like, by about 9.30 and he's down here this morning, so that's a really good good situation. But again, we need to get that completed. Um, we've got Alex Henshaw who's coming from Manchester City. He's a Swindon boy. He's got a family in Swindon, so this you know is this part of the world. But he's a young left winger, and uh, again looking for an opportunity to, to get going. So there's you know there's not huge experience in the two boys, but they complement the group and they want to be here and they want to get going and uh, and enhance their own careers as well as help us. So it it just gives us a couple more bodies to add to the strength that we've got. We'll have Ellis Harrison back from international duty as well. We've got Shannon Klukas coming back in as well. So. There's a little bit of you know, a bit a bit of light somewhere at the end of the tunnel, and new faces in a football club tend to give the whole group a bit of a lift, you know. That. So I'm looking for these next two days to be very positive from the team. So with Will, you're looking for a sort of left-sided defender. Is he more of a, a full-back or a centre? No, he can play centre-back. He's about six foot three. He's a big boy. He can play full-backs as well. But he's a he's a right-sider, so he can play the right side of defence. And Tom Parker can move to the left if that's required. So. Again, we'll have a good look at him today and uh, and, and Alex, and then see where we, we move on tomorrow. Okay, and um, uh, um, with Alex Henshaw, I mean, a big things expected of him at Swindon, and then he mm. got his big move into the uh, the Premier League. Yeah. A, a real first chance for him to, to get some experience now. Yes, it is. And again, they speak highly of him at Manchester. We we spoke to those guys yesterday, and uh, that they're helping us out with letting Alex come down and have a month. And again, it's you know, there's no promises anywhere that he starts every game. Nothing like that. It's just that it's a to trust basis, get Alex down. He's comfortable in this part of the world as well, so he's grateful for the opportunity to get back down this side. But obviously, his career wants to ignite at, uh, at Manchester City, which is a, an extremely difficult thing for a young player to do. So, I admire his desire to get out and want to improve his own career and his own football. And uh, if he can do that and help us at the same time, then we've got an ambitious young man here. And, and hopefully, he's the kind of uh, you've got a good pace in the team, but he adds that sort of pace and particularly directness think, on the wing. Yes, he does, and he is direct in that sense. And he goes at people. And you know, we've got young Alfie Santos, we've got Shaquille, and but at the same time, they're they're just out youth team football. And it's you know, however well they do, I'm very wary of throwing too many games at them. For instance, this week we've got Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, and and that's going to be tough for people like Pat Carey and Alfie, who did really well last weekend, and they catch the eye, and quite rightly so. But they're not all like Tom Lockyer that can keep going. And I don't even know if Tom can do the three games in a week yet, and neither does he. So we're living and learning about these boys, but they need a bit of help. And uh, you know that's one thing I'm pretty sure about. They're, they're, they're going to need a bit of assistance over these next three games to, to come in, come out and regroup and get back together again and then start again after that. So the two new faces will help us with that.